my favorite mug. My daughter gave this mug to me for Christmas this past year and I use it for my snacks. And this is how I found my mug this morning on the kitchen floor. I'm kind of bummed. No, I'm really bummed. But I know exactly what happened. I left some trail mix in there that I hadn't finished and put it on the counter. And one of our cats, pretty confident it's Dorothy. Oz usually doesn't get up there. But Dorothy, she's always scrounging for food. And she heard, saw the food. She probably smelled it and got right up there, put her little face in there, tried to get at the food, and pushed it right off the side of the counter. And as annoyed as I am with Dorothy, I'm more annoyed with myself because I knew better. I knew she would do that, and I set her up for failure. And we do this with our teens all the time, too. We set them up for failure. We think it's obvious when we have these expectations that they're going to know what we want. I mean, come on. If you make a mess in the kitchen, clean it up. If you're going to be late, call me so I don't worry you're, that you're in a ditch. If I leave something on the stairs for you, take it up with you. Don't just leave it there. Seems so obvious. But here's the thing. Teens don't think the way we do. It is To us, it feels like they're being disrespectful or that they are just going out of their way to annoy us. But the thing is, a lot of times they don't even think about it the way we do. It doesn't even occur to them. When we say, you need to go get your homework done, and they're watching TV, and then they continue watching TV, we get annoyed. We just told them to go do their homework. So we yell, go get your homework done, and then they get upset with us. Why? Because we didn't make it clear that we wanted it right then. They figured, I'll get my homework done as soon as I'm done watching this TV program. We're thinking two different things. We get upset, then they get upset. And what happened was we were not being clear on what our expectations were. And we set them up for failure. If you want to better understand how to communicate with your teen in a way that they hear and understand that you know that you're being clear on your expectations and not setting up for failure check out my website drcamconsulting.com and reach out to me with a question because once they know once we become very clear you might start noticing that they actually live up to our expectations because they know what they are. They don't want to get in trouble. They don't want to disappoint us. They want to do what's right. They just need to know what right is. Even if it's obvious to us, it's not obvious to them.